Welcome, and film is an Alcatel One X, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So before we get started, there is two things that we'll need. Number one is a SIM card with uh, any kind of contact on there, and number two is a Wi-Fi connection. And that's about it. So once you have both of those things, you can then follow uh, what I'm doing. Now, right here, I'm just showing that the device is locked, as you can see. So you have the verify pattern or use Google account instead. So I can verify it with either one of those. But we're going to use neither. So there it is. So the device is fully locked, as you can see. So um, once you connect to Wi-Fi uh, over, well, it skips the page because I'm already connected, as you can see. Um, so once you connect to Wi-Fi, you can then go back to the first page right here. And from here, let's go to emergency call, uh, then emergency information, tap on that twice and add it by tapping on a pencil and add account. And choose whichever contact uh, you want. So it doesn't really matter what you choose. Once you tap on it, it will be added here, emergency contact, tap on it and then tap on three dots and go to share. And from here, you should see a Gmail option. So instead of actually tapping on it, you want to hold it. And that will give us actually additional option. So from here, let's go to app info. From here, let's see, uh, we're interested in going into, I think it's app notifications, additional settings in the app. And from here, I believe it's help and feedback, but I will check it. Yep, it looks like it. So help and feedback. And from here, let's search for Morse code. So actually, I will, before we do that, I'm just gonna go back so you can get a look at it again. So once more, once you have the share option, so let's go into uh, on the contact itself. Three dots, share, hold the Gmail, app info all uh, app notifications and then additional settings in the app three dots again and help and feedback and from here i just search for morse code m-o-r there it is so use morse code let's tap on that it will load it up and from here tap on the play button it will basically go black and then come back and here you have the three dots again on the video so you can tap on that and choose watch later and this will open up chrome so here tap on accept and continue and sign into chrome no thanks and here let's tap on the search bar remove this and we're gonna navigate into a hard reset that info website like so so once you're on the website tap on the three bars right here and go to download category and you can see there's the download uh, search field so let's tap on it and you want to search for android 8 Okay, and let's search. And it's the first and only thing that you will find here. So FRP bypass, Google account protection bypass and Android 8 application. Tap on the download button right there. Again, scroll down and you'll find another download link right here. Continue, allow and download and okay. And it should download right away almost. So from here, open it up and we will need to grant access to Chrome so it actually can access this. So tap on settings and then allow from this source, go back, install. And once it's installed, we will open it up. So open and we're now in the app. Now it doesn't really matter what you choose here. Um, so once you're in the app, we're gonna start off by choosing the Google Account Manager APK install and select for version 6.0. 
And again, same process, go into settings, allow from this source and go back and install. Now this time around, once it's done installing, you're just gonna click on done or just back. Um, and it should be back in the FRP bypass app. So from here, you wanna tap on bypass FRP and choose browser sign in and tap on three dots and again choose browser sign in there we go okay and this will bring up the google sign in page and as you can see this is not a verification page this is just a normal sign in one so log in using your existing uh, email address uh, if you don't have one you can always create one and then use it to log in here. So I already have one, so that's what I'm gonna use. Now let's go next. And I'm gonna put in a password for this. And once you log in, you'll be back in the app as I am right now. So from here, all we're left with is hold power key and select restart like so, reboot, okay. And just wait for it to reboot. So we should be back in the setup screen. So again, let's progress through it. And this time around, once you progress through it, you will not be blocked by the verification screen anymore. So that would be nice. Now keep in mind before you click off uh, that the process is not finished just yet. So we're gonna go through the setup right here and skip as much as we can to get access to the home screen where we're gonna actually perform a reset of the device through settings. And you can see right here, account added, and it provides the account that I have added right before the restart of the device. And this is normally where the verification screen would appear. So it's no longer blocking us. And you want to go through the setup process as quick as possible. It doesn't really matter what we choose right now because we're gonna perform a reset of the device like I said before. And I can see that we're now on the home screen. So from here, let's open up settings. Settings right here. And scroll down to system. Then reset options. Erase all data, factory reset. Reset phone. And you can already see that it right here shows a message that um, basically performing this will remove your Google account and it provides the one that we have added, but it also will include the one that was previously blocking us. So let's just tap on erase everything now and wait for the process to finish. So I'll be back once or you can see the setup screen. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So we can again go through the setup process of the device. And this time around, we can set it up as however you like. The device is now fully unlocked. So I'm gonna change to English and start. Now, once more, I'll just go through the setup process as quick as I can. But like I said, uh, you can go through it as 
well, whatever way you want. That's just the uh, SIM card right now, just if you're wondering. So it's a pin for the SIM card, and yeah, once it's unlocked, I can actually proceed. So let's skip Wi-Fi connection. And as you can see, now the process is finished, the device is fully unlocked, and you can use it in whatever way you want. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.